As the Democrats battle for the nomination, Republicans are fighting back with a very specific strategy, and they're saving their fierce attacks for one Democrat that isn't even running. Does Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez know the horror of socialism? My father was minutes from death in Cambodia before a forced marriage saved his life. That's socialism. I'm not outrageous, racist, nor socialist. I'm a Republican. You're an idiot. <laughs> Cambodians weren't killed by socialism. They were victims of a genocide inflicted by the communist Khmer Rouge, which I initially thought was the all-Asian sequel to Moulin Rouge. I... <laughs> I was very disappointed and, and very wrong. Uh, not as much singing, although Ewan McGregor was still heavily involved. <laughs> Are voters really buying this? It makes Alexander Ocasio-Cortez sound like she wants to murder Americans in the street, when she actually sounds more like a Central American mountain range. <laughs> Tragedy today is a plane full of missionaries went down over the Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez a search for the record found no survivors but scattered Buddha judge. <laughs> Republicans, you think the Democrats who promote socialism are cut from the same cloth as Joseph Stalin, Pol Pot, Ewan McGregor, Fidel Castro, <laughs> and, and his friend in the t shirt? <laughs> they all claim to be socialists, so of course it gets a bad rap. I, look, I too grew up in a socialist country, and I know too well what it can do to a society. Let me show you what socialism looks like. <laughs> the horror. <laughs> now, now, socialism is shorthand for everything bad in the world, and it's distracting us from talking about other things. Right, legendary Dodgers announcer Vin Scully? Socialism failing to work as it always does, this time in Venezuela. You talk about giving everybody something free and all of a sudden there's no food to eat. Anyway, 0-2. Oh, Vin, always dropping some wisdom at the most awkward moments. <laughs> you know the greatest pitcher in Dodgers history was Sandy Colfax. Now let me tell you something about his people. Two out, bottom of the eighth. <laughs> the scare tactics work because people don't really know what the word socialism means. Plenty of our institution or institutions are already socialised. Uh, schools, roads, libraries, the, the military. Yes, the military is socialist. Service members get free healthcare, housing and food, and we pay for it with our taxes. The fire department. Imagine a fire department that was privatised. How would that look? Is your house on fire? Are you on fire? Call me. I'm Dennis. I have a hose. <laughs> Don't be fooled by other fire departments that claim to use water. Our patented water-like substance will remove up to 70% of your fire on your home and or body. <laughs> Democrats who embrace socialism are trying to empower the working class and get big money out of politics. It doesn't mean the end of capitalism. We can embrace both. What we need is a new ism that's less scary and combines the best ideas of all the isms. Since I've invented it, we can call it Jimism or <laughs> Jism for short. <laughs> yes, it's a good name. It's a good name. Jism. That'll get stuck in your head and your hair. <laughs> First, we take the best things from socialism, like free healthcare and the bus that picks your kids up from school. Then we add capitalism. Some people will still get rich. Uh, and communism, some people will still get poor. And then, I don't know, a touch of fascism. Uh, they, they had the best uniforms. Uh, <laughs> next, um, uh, environmentalism, where everyone gets a turtle. And then there's... <laughs> Anthropomorphism, uh, so those turtles can talk. <laughs> it's the best of everything. Everyone wins, and that's jism. It's coming.